Each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. No, I haven't gone mad. This week it's all about robots, 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 robots. We went to the Toy Fair in London where we've played with a plethora of robots that's going to be taking over your homes this Christmas. Stay tuned. It's my new friend, Isobot from Tomy, due out in the summer for £199. Basically it's a little robot. According to them, the world's smallest biped robot under two foot on a Tuesday. Anyway, what happens is you can talk to him, you can instruct him, there's a little remote control floating around somewhere. And basically, I'm going to sort of give him a quick Q&A. Make me laugh. <laughs> it's a silly little robot. Now you can also just give him regular instructions. Go forward. And then the final one, which is our favourite. Action start. And there you have it. Complete bonkers, but coming to a home near you in the summer. I hate pink gadgets. Darling, I love you, I really do. But does that mean that I should give my betrothed something that I would want myself that just happens to be in pink? How condescending is that? Darling, I love this, you're a girl. Oh, you must need it in pink and only pink. Or maybe, maybe a delicious lilac because you know, you're obviously not manly enough, boy enough, gadget enough to want it in black or silver because hey, that's my colors. You can't have those colors, they're mine. And that is why I hate the most condescending color of most pink gadgets. Pets are great, aren't they? But the trouble with pets is you've got to remember to feed them and you've got to take them to kennels when you go on holiday and all the other stuff. Well, you be go, you go be, the answer to that is the Pleo, this little autonomous dinosaur that, well, is a robot that works with you, basically. The idea behind it is that it's a living, breathing organism in as much sense as it can possibly be. There is no remote control, for example, and if you treat it badly, it won't like you. It's as tough as that. Sensors all over his body, allowing you to, uh, to give him a stroke and he'll react accordingly. And even to the point where, if I pick him up, he, uh, he starts to complain. And then I've been told you have to Sort of put him here and stroke him nicely. Oh, that's, that's good, lovely, lovely. Now, in addition to that, from a technology point of view, apart from the sensors all over its body, he has a little sensor on his nose, which so he can uh, stop himself supposedly walking off. Uh, see, look, he's hiding away from the, the edge there. And underneath, on the undercarriage, is a one hour, there's a ba rechargeable battery that will last you an hour and a SD card so you can upload new uh, behavioural patterns and things like that. And also a USB socket so you can connect it to the internet. Now on the internet they have Plio World which is uh, forum communities share and show and tell all the other stuff. £250 uh, in the UK. It's available now and expected to be making its cute way into, uh, into your Christmas gift list. And that's the Plio from Ugobi. We love Stanford University's folding at home on the PS3. What is it? Well, it allows us to solve diseases using our games console. How cool is that? Brilliant. That's all you need. I'm going to buy this thing to play games, maybe the odd movie. Hey, it does Blu-ray as well, remember. But also to solve the world's ills, to use that processing power to, like, help cure cancer. That's just cool. Now I can justify it to the missus by saying, I'm not just buying it for games, darling. I'm buying it for world peace. And that is why we love folding at home. We're here with founder, inventor, big cheese, Mark Tilden of Wowie Robotics. Hello, Mark. How are you? Not too bad, Stuart. Yourself? Good, good. You've launched a load of new robots this year. Mm -hmm. What have we got? What's exciting? We got something really fast and cool, a little video game character. This is Tribot, designed by a lot of bright lads who've done an awful lot of video games. 
This thing is just talk, 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 but RC fast. It says all kinds of neat things. But best yet, the remote control has a little button right here that allows me to control him like a Nintendo Wii character. Okay, the reason cool. we call him a video game character is because he really is like a video game character come to life. Runs on regular batteries. Ten minutes of content, just non-stop talking. Great for the boys. Okay. For the girls and, of course, older boys, we have Femi Sapien. It's been five years since it came up with Robo Sapien. Bit of a caveman. This one is definitely a lot more sophisticated. Okay. 56 basic functions, including the ability to really shake herself. Unlike other robots, which are like walk when they moved, she basically is able to walk in a much more sophisticated way. So have you tried to capture female aspirations and behaviors in... Not a chance. What happened is, is that like with all my devices, I just wound up designing the things based upon its own efficiency. And guess what? All of a sudden you wind up having something which looks like this. RoboSafe was based upon like my science sort of like evolved into a simian form. Sure. What's happened is I started it out with Parmesium, went up through bugs, dogs, pigs, dinosaurs, everything. And all of a sudden I've come up with my first human form robot, which seems to have some rather cool abilities. One of the great things, for example, is you've got your own little backup singer. If you want to know, baby, just tell me so. <laughs> so the cool thing is, is that she's a top-end robot, but she's also got an awful lot of really fun little bits and pieces inside of her. Cool. Aside from that, we also have Rex the dog. Okay. Rex the dog is a comedy dog built from the parts of every previous robot dog that's ever been sold. So you start him up like a lawnmower. And when he starts going, there he goes. So he's got these great little slot machine eyes. He's really fast on his wheels. And he's just designed to be fun. Find any one of his many animations, you just tap his nose. So his eyes select one of the different patterns. Are they autonomous, do, or do you have to always tell them what to do? Yes. <laughs> okay. No, they have autonomous modes, and they also have like, um, you know, like directional modes. Right. So you can make them work the way you want. Femi, for example, you just like, you know, direct her hands by just touching her, and she basically is able to do whatever you want. Okay. But basically leave her to herself, and she also has all kinds of little interactive abilities. Tribot also has an autonomous mode as well as this one. Oh. And the cuddly toys at the end? What, oh, they, damn straight. Are they just cuddly toys? No, these are great. What we've done is we've tried our best to come up with something which is uh, trying to come up with something that's as real as you can get. So the whole idea is, is that putting all the mechanism in the head, incredible believability. This is done by some guys at Huawei, um, Guy and uh, George. And you've got something now which really is the world's first cuddly plush. Right. It's really quite neat. Something Excellent. Different. It looks like an impressive lineup. So is the idea to uh, replace the humble dog and cat and with a robot? No, no. Robots are going to have their own sort of things. The evolution of authority includes a mechanical high heel shoe. We've got all these things basically to just... Uh, basically add to the quality of life. We don't cool. want to replace a kitten or a dog, right? Even goldfish, we can't build a good one like that. Okay? okay, these ones are great because they've got their own abilities and they're going to add variety to your life. It's something that you might see on Star Wars and you might always want for your own home. And do they all run on Asimov's three rules of robot? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Asimov was a great fiction writer, okay? I build real robots, okay? My robots are based upon the Tilden rules, feed your ass, protect your ass, look for better real estate. Mine's working very well. We've sold 20 million of things so far. Excellent. Well, Thank thanks you. very much for your time. Take care, Stuart. Cheers. Bye. So there you have it, a collection of robots, if that's what you call them. Maybe you call them a mechanic of robots. I don't know. Why don't you tell us, email us, with what you think a collection of robots might be? Obviously, they're not going to take over our jobs anywhere in the meantime. And you, making a cup of tea in the morning is still going to be resolved to you or the missus, I'm afraid. However, I wouldn't be so sure about man's best friend. He looks like he's going to have a couple of troubling years ahead of him with Wowie and Pleo and all the other people making pets a bit more user-friendly and certainly ones that aren't going to eat your slippers in the morning. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for more news, reviews, tips, tricks and much more. And if you're watching this on a podcast around the web, why don't you come back to megawatt.tv where there's all the above plus plenty more in a beautiful surrounding setting of the web that it is. This is Megawatt TV. Thanks for watching. Thank you.